Elkin Baggett has turned down Leeds United. He's turned down West Ham. And we have just signed Elkin Baggett. Welcome back to another video. Oh, it's happened, the day has come and I didn't expect to be saying this. Elkin Baggett. What a bloke. He has signed a contract for Richard Town. Right, yes. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today, I wasn't expecting to do a video today. I've got so much to do. I've been editing a video for the Offsiders and I've been working out Obviously, if you don't know, I've got a new series coming out Sunday, so keep your eyes peeled. Today, our focus is all on about the news, which came out earlier today. Elkin Baggett has just signed his first professional contract at Ipswich Town. Before we do get into this video, please make sure you go down there and subscribe to the channel as we are on the road to 14,000 subscribers. And recently, the support has been incredible, so keep smashing the support. Smash that thumbs up button down below on this video. Let's go for 150 likes. I think we can do that. And let's get into the video. Right, so what I want to talk about first in this video is the length of the contract. He signed the new deal until 2023. Now to me, so to me that looks like we are going for that long-term deal. Obviously another two, well, it's 2021, isn't it? So another two years with an extra 12 month option if he wants to. He would, I th I'm really happy with this because I think he would fit in really, really well in that centre half spot with Luke Wolfenden, obviously Luke Chambers plays on the right, but when Kane Vincent Young comes back, I think it's, something's going to happen. I do think Elkin Baggett needs to be given the chance, and th I think this is the real reason why he was contemplating on moving to Leeds United, and obviously I think West Ham were interested as well. But he's, t he's turned both Premier League clubs down. And I'm really, really surprised. Um, I, I thought he was going to go. I was certain, actually, that he was going to go. And he signed a new contract today. A bit about him. Obviously, you all know he's only, I think, 19 years old or 18 years old. He's quite tall. He's a very tall player. And what I like about him as well is he's, he, he loves going forward. He's an, he's an attacking centre-back. He's an aerial threat because of his height. And I just, I just think he's going to be a player who we need to keep close to the club, we need to keep that relationship with him because in the future, I genuinely think he'll be one of our best centre-backs we've had at the club. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on Elkin Baggett, how he could be signing a contract at Leeds United. I was adamant he was going to be going to the Premier League, but obviously it didn't happen. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video. <laughs> yeah, Leeds United were probably, I think Leeds United and West Ham were the top two Premier League clubs that wanted to sign Elkin Baggett. And I'm just going to go for a few points. So I actually planned a video. To, I'm not doing it now because it's signed for Ipswich, but I was going to do a video on why he would have been good at Leeds because there's many factors about Elkin Baggett, how I, how I think he would have been beneficial to the Leeds United team. So obviously Leeds had a really successful transfer window. However, their main concern, I think Leeds fans can probably agree with me here, but their main concern was arguably their defence. I think they've conceded over like 30, 33 goals this season so far and we're, we're like just over halfway through. Elsa, I think he said that he was struggling with his back line, mainly his centre-backs. I think Leeds United have some centre-backs that are currently injured. Leeds United wouldn't have been able to have their expectations set so high if they can't rely on their centre-backs. And I was going to mention that the promise of Elkin Baggett's future would have been really beneficial at Leeds United. However, He's here. He's, he's here to stay. Elkin Baggett. I'm buzzing. I'm really, really happy that he signed for Ipswich because I think he should play more. I, I hope he gets more game time. I really do because I think he deserves it. He deserves a chance. He's not been given a real chance yet and we know what he's all capable of. He's got the height. He's still young and he's a big lad. I think, I think he's got a massive future ahead of him. 
And one thing that annoyed me is why did we price this to make like 300,000? He's, he's worth more than that. He just is. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to sit down, give you my reaction, talk about the whole thing because the first video I did on him did very, very well. And um, yeah, he is now an Ipswich Town player. He signed his professional contract. I'm really, really happy for him. And um, yeah, hopefully he gets some game time now. And I'm sure he will because I think the only reason he didn't want to sign the first contract was because he hasn't really been getting much game time. And I think there must be something in it now where he's either going to get more game time, that maybe there's a release clause. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for all the support. I have got some bangers coming out this weekend. Saturday, we play Crew away. And on Sunday, I've got my new series, like I mentioned earlier. But thank you all for the support. Keep smashing, literally. Go down there and hit the red subscribe button. It would massively help me out. Smash that thumbs up button and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Up the Elkin Baggots.